is there... Is there no other way? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. What do you need? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not with so much as riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him, in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. Yes, I know. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, see about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Oh, oh, of course. How stupid of me to forget. Here I am going on and on about Duncan, and you... I am so sorry. 
Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. I'd like that. So would he, I think. I don't understand. You look like a woman. Flirting. I don't know this word. Speak the common tongue. You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. What does that have to do with anything? No one gets to choose who they are. Of course not. It is who I am. That's not up to me. A person is born. Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. Can they? We'll see. Yes? Well, here I am. Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men. Not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. What do you wish of me? If you must. My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Flemeth's part, or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. It was a game and I a young girl. If I didn't get to play, I would have been very upset. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear. And I think that it was necessary. There are no trials for apostates, no prisons, no mercy. There are only absolutes, so only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? <laughs> An enlightened view. 
or at least an agreeable one. Enough of this talk, let us return to the task at hand. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. I am the person appointed to stop all unauthorized access to the Circle Tower. Meaning you, because you're unauthorized. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Kill some Darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Ugh, semantics. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go! Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Good point. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Come along, I suppose. and I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here, the Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. This is why we cut the tongues from mages in Parvolan. I will admit to agreeing with your companion. Maker knows the Kunari would not have gotten themselves into this position. We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. A while ago, and it worries me, the Civil War has no doubt caused much turmoil. Has the Chantry been caught up in it? I can only guess. Denrim must have received our message. 
It cannot be much longer. If, by some miracle, you destroy the abominations, yes, the Templars will join your army. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. My wound! This is the prison for your mages? Ours is not so grand. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. I am a mage of the Circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? <sighs> they sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the Circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the Circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Yes, even if we cannot eliminate all the demons and abominations, together we could lead the survivors out. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages, they allow themselves to be corralled like cattle, mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. Look at how they live, servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynn, are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. 
Your confidence is refreshing, though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Here we are. I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? Be on your guard. the charge in the air, can you not? A great power has been unleashed in this place. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I am called Owain, and I manage the Circle's magical stockroom. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. The stockroom is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. No. I suppose I should count myself lucky. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Nial the Mage. He came here with several others and took the litany of Adralo. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Nial. The Litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. 
Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. The magic was a means to an end. It gave us... It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable. But the ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Wynne? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought, someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. But I... I would like a chance to atone for what I've done. Please, if you spare me, I... I could escape and seek penance at the Chantry. You know, they'll never take you. They're very picky about who they let in. Harlots, murderers, yes! Maleficarum, oh no. I just want my life. Please. I'll find a way, please. I swear I'll do something good with my life. No. No, please. As you say.
think we work well together. Most intriguing. Corruption not unlike the Darkspawns. Perhaps they are related. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. Happiness is bewitching. There is a certain power in all things mortals delight in. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it. Cannot grasp it. But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. What you've done to him is... 
is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. Apparently, you can get your desire and still suffer horribly. Tis truly a lesson for all who consider marriage. How long will you keep him in this stupor? Will he know it when his body fails and death claims him? A short, blissful existence is preferable to an interminable one of misery. We are partners. I give him what no one else can, and through him, I experience what it is to be mortal. What happiness! He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Then you leave me no choice. Help! There are bandits at the door! They're going to murder the children! They will not get past me! Ridiculous. You cannot expect me to rest on a floor sticky with blood. Resist. You must resist, else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. 